the Fan Networking Podcast promotes entrepreneurs, startups, authors, business experts throughout the world. I'm Tom Riach, an American known as the king of networking, connecting people and speaking from my studio in Vinhedo, São Paulo, Brazil. Today we talk with Jennifer Palmer, speaking with us from Calgary in Alberta, Canada. Jennifer is a podcast production producer and host, video creator, editor, content creator, marketing, and social media coach. She's also founder and host of Online for Authors, as well as founder and host of Promote Before You Publish. So Jennifer, why do you believe in multiple platforms versus one? Uh, Tom, thank you for asking that question. It's really about expanding your online presence, visibility, and reach. The more places you are, the more places you can be found, and the more visible you are. And that's the word, being found, right? It's not finding, it's being found. Yes, you have to be where your audience is. You don't expect your audience to come to you. And today, that's it. It's searching. There are 8 billion people out there every day searching for something, for everything. Uh, And today, we need to be found, either as an author or as a business person, right? We do need to be found. And the key word that you use there is search. And so when we talk about presence versus visibility when it comes to online it's the visibility that's the searchability what keywords are you utilizing what content have you created that puts you in a spot where people can search and find you so what shelf are you living on on the internet and how did you put yourself there and really it has to be shelves it's just like a library you know you have to catalog yourself somehow so that is really what it's all about the more places you are the more opportunities you have to put yourself on the shelf people are going to be looking at well what i've found in speaking with business persons many times they say well i'm on instagram or i'm already on facebook or i'm already on whatever um, but that's where they are and they don't realize that there's so well every day there seems to be a new social media coming out that's right New social channels every other day. Like, I think I heard of another one yesterday. And it's like, what? Okay, well, let's check it out. Let's see if we need to be there. And it's not necessarily that you have to concentrate all your efforts Mm -hmm. on every single platform. But if you're not on all of them, how do you know which one is going to be the best one that serves your audience? How how do you know that that's where you're going to find... Uh, the people are not find the people. You have to actually test it mm-hmm. and then concentrate the efforts where you're getting the most traffic. Not to say that you don't continue to put content out on the others right. because it's all repurposable. Right. I mean, you, you're creating content anyway. Repurpose it and get it out there. It takes a few seconds compared to what it took you to create it. So find out where you're getting the most energy. Find out what's working. Put more content out there. Repurpose it everywhere else. And well, I found that I, I'm old school on that. I, you know, years, years ago, we used to go to business conventions and you would take your brochures, printed brochures under your arm and set up a table and a cloth and maybe put out a, a product or show your service or whatever. And people would come by, walk by in front of you. And you would be right. in a corner of a massive place in Las Vegas or in Canada or somewhere, Toronto. And people would come by and say things. And it, that's where I've understood the value of search of meeting people that yeah. I had no I, I didn't know who would stop there what they were looking at uh, but it was them stopping and asking questions that was the motivator today that happens instantly I don't have to set up a table I don't have to carry a brochure that's outdated once it's printed right yeah and in, I've done a lot in the way of um, events like mm-hmm. live events trade shows and what have you too and one of the big things that we want to point out that relates to online presence versus visibility mm-hmm. is that that's because you're there with your table doesn't mean anybody's going to see you right. so are you standing behind it or are you standing in front of it mm-hmm. or on top so, of it maybe jumping up and down you, whatever right? <laughs> what is it that you're doing to be seen right so yeah well that's the point it's not one place and it's not one thing anymore no, no, you have to be very creative. You have to stand out against the noise. So what is it that makes you unique? What is it that sets you apart? How do you um, put tags around it and keywords around it and make sure you get mentioned? If So here's the other thing. If you're not on a particular uh, platform, 
when I, being a host as well, um, Tom, you know, when you go to put a show out, you know, what platform are you putting it out on? I put it out on all the platforms that I have. Yes. But if that person is not on that platform, how am I tagging them? Right. That's true. How am I bringing attention to them? <laughs> That's true. Like, oh, I can't, I can't send somebody to you if you're not there. <laughs> And that, well, that's part of our challenge to explain to people that that's part of the deal. Yeah. Uh, we can offer help, and you do that in a very uh, structured manner. But if people, in the end, don't apply the help that you're offering or the advice that you're giving, uh, it doesn't work. No, I mean, you can't, it's like leading a horse to water. If they're not thirsty, they don't drink. <laughs> I've, ta I've, I've, I've taken a look at your site, uh, which is onlineforauthors.org. Uh, Thank you. And I've seen you have a, an extensive menu of, of offers. Uh, so our listeners can enter that site, uh, check you out, see what you have to offer. And it, it's a multiple choice. It's like a full course meal. Is that it? Part of it is, is like if you don't give somebody an idea of where they can start working with you, mm -hmm. that's what the, the, basically the work with me page is all about. And what the little a list of um, offers is, is that, okay, this is a possibility. This is a possibility. Really? It's the big project, you know, and these are just little pieces of it. Well, it's like the so, meal. When we say we want to break the bread, we break the bread and then we ask for more. Right, right. So where can I catch you? Where do you need me to be looking at you? And, and you know best whether or not you think it's your online content to platform building or if you think you need coaching. Um, but I'm going to find more because I'm looking for where you're not. Mm -hmm. You're not looking for where you're not. You're looking at trying to figure out how to do what you're doing. Right. You know, and so that's the corner where you are. That's the door on your store. Uh, so you're sort of the eagle flying overhead. Well, I want to be take again, I big picture versus little piece, pieces of it. Right. So mm -hmm. when you're knee deep in trying to get it done, that's where you need the help. And that's what you can see right now. <laughs> Whereas yeah, I can well, see the you're doing what you say you should do. How did we meet? So I'm talking to you from Brazil. You're in Canada in Alberta and Calgary, which seems to be your favorite sport uh, arena as well. Uh, we, we would probably, you know, the, the, the probability of us meeting was close to zero. Right. If one of us were not on a platform. Right. And, and Podmatch has been a great platform for me. I mean, it's uh, filled up my calendar for quite some time. Uh, so, you know, it's where it's utilizing your tools and how do you best do that? Right. And, and, and having, a, and, and well, having a toolbox full of tools. Yeah. Yeah. But again, knowing how they work. I mean, it doesn't, right. there's no point having a screwdriver if you don't know what to do with it. <laughs> well, you'll help them learn. Well, Jennifer, yeah. I want to thank you for actually getting up very early to be with us. Thank you for your participation and sharing your experience. Okay. <laughs> very welcome thank you for having me on your show tom uh, it was a pleasure and for our audience you can find as i said more information about jennifer palmer and her name is jennifer j-e-n-n-i-f-e-r the last name palmer p-a-l-m-e-r she's on linkedin and all of the other social media and her site onlineforauthors.org if you go on onlineforauthors.org forward slash work hyphen with jen You'll find some of the, her offers and her, her menu. Cafe Networking is brought to us by Focus MI Market Intelligence, an agricultural market research specialist in Brazil. More information on their website, focusmi.com. Thanks for listening. Until the next time here at Cafe and Networking Podcast. <music>